Alright, so I guess to start off, how happy are you guys to be part of Rock on the Range this year? Yeah, it's great to be back. I mean, we haven't, you know, last time we were here was 2008. Um, so, it's good to just be back amongst the, the people again and playing the show. I have to say, I caught the set this morning. It was amazing. That is what a rock show should be. So, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. So, you guys are playing the uh, Beckle Hammer Golden Dog Awards next month. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, yeah, that's come straight after Donington's show at Download. We're uh, closing the Metal Hammer Awards. And then recently, we just found out the next night after the Metal Hammer Awards, we'll be supporting Aerosmith at the O2 Arena. Oh my god. 27,000 people, so that should be a lot of fun. That's incredible. So, um, what do you hope that listeners take away from your music? Um, I hope they just, you know, Basically, if they're having a bit of a hard time at work or they're going through a bit of trouble that they can forget about it, have a drink and just have a good time and just forget about, you know, just lose yourself silly, really. <laughs> so are you happy with the feedback that the uh, No Guts, No Glory album's gotten so far? Absolutely. I mean, you know, there's, it couldn't have been more positive feedback that we've got back off that one, so um, it's just great to be out touring it now. Is there any significance behind the title? Um, it sort of really stands for where the band is at now. You know, the first one was Running Wild, we were new, we're out of Australia, we are you know, running around the world playing as many shows as we could, and now it's sort of no guts, no glory, so we're here and we're here to stay. Awesome. So what are your plans for the rest of the summer? Well, we've got June, July coming up in the Europe, Europe Festival, so we've got a keg machine waiting on the bus, which I'm looking forward to. Um, and then after that we've got uh, August, we've got Canada, and then August, September we've got uh, Upper Old Festival in the States. Busy, busy guys. Yeah. <laughs> so what, is, what was the music scene like for you growing up? Well, it wasn't, I mean, we sort of had to go find of any bands to, to rock and, that played rock and roll. And for us it was pretty much just playing our own shows a lot. So, yeah. in the tracking room which made it interesting and we you know we lived in the studio we drilled holes through the walls to make the tone sound better oh wow because you know the ring you can run the lead around the wall or just drill a hole straight through makes the lead shorter makes the guitar sound better nice uh, we did a lot of things reverb microphones and just had a lot of fun with making a, a live rock and roll album. so which one of your songs holds a special place in your heart and why well bad and beautiful Reminds me of a little girl back home. Okay. <laughs> so, um, what is your favorite guilty pleasure song? Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't really have one, to be honest. <laughs> you just like them all. So, so. Yeah, I just love them all. <laughs> so, do you have plans for the next single?